remember yesterday? No, day before yesterday. The day before yesterday, when I told some somebody asked me, it was a very good question. Why would they do a FOIA re a request of Fauci's emails, release them to the world, and then come out and publish the information as if what we saw is positive? And I told y'all. Because this is what it looks like when you're fattening up a lamb for slaughter. You can't have a lamb going up there all skinny. Nobody going to care. Who want to come to dinner? You show me a Caribbean. You ain't going to go no skinny ass goat, no skinny ass lamb. Nah. I need you to believe in this lamb. I need y'all to crave this lamb. I need you to be all inspired by the girth of this lamb. I need you. You can't even finish the sentence without like, mm, 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 mm. shit. You see how you see that belly on that thing? I need you to feel guilty about the thought of you eating this lamb. I need you to feel like you got to take a trip to Adam and Eve before you eat this lamb. I need you to smoke a Cigarette at the thought of being finished eating the lamb. Because either way, you know that that lamb is getting ate. And I told y'all, they would never allow the, any of the mainstream spies to publish a single negative word because they've already established what? They've already established the fact that if you do say anything negative about Fauci, it means you're racist towards China. It means you're anti, you're anti vaxxer It means you hate all vaccines. And you, you you say something negative about Fauci, it means you must love Trump. That's what that must mean. Even if you're a leftist who literally hates both of them, or I don't hate anybody. Well, I hate Hillary Clinton, but that's the only one who gets that type of energy. <laughs> I don't like any energy out there. But Hillary Clinton, I'll dedicate all my energy to that. I don't care. Uh, but they that that's what they would tell you now they would get themselves taken off google they would get censored they would get hit they would be so i gotta if i'm gonna put this out there i gotta say i gotta put frame it in a way that we're like wow we we totally requested this information to brag about how awesome fauci is except for you did that anyway without any substantiation you didn't need more documents when you are corrupt and establishment, you know, better than any white anybody, which is why you have Julian Assange in jail right now, which is why y'all had Chelsea Manning in jail right now, or excuse me, prior to, uh, uh, recently when she got released finally after, uh, Trump disbanded that grand jury for WikiLeaks, which is why you had a whole grand jury for WikiLeaks, you know, as the, as being part of the establishment. More information never works out in your favor. So why give people all the information and then kiss Fauci's ass as if that's why you intended to do it? Because the information was going to come out anyway. That's why. This little uh, interview with Gottlieb probably has been in the tank for a while world leaders were briefed senior officials were briefed how long did you think that they were going to stay quiet as their names got thrown to the dirt as they were denied position on position on position just for being attached to trump who said the who even talked about the wuhan lab theory how long did y'all think they was going to take it on the chin The only good thing about capitalism, well, maybe not the only good thing, but the only good thing as far as uh, what most people will consider negative repercussions or reverberating impact is that self-interest always exposes other people's self-interest in the name of self-interest. The government is in politics and in, in, in capitalists in general are pretty clear if I got to throw you under the bus to pick up the dollar across the street, you just became one with Greyhound. I hope you enjoy your new pet.
That is pretty clear. And with this whole COVID situation and the way it was handled and the narrative siege that we saw, people's names were dragged through the dirt. How long did you think they were going to allow that to continue? This commissioner was going to come out. These senior officials were going to come out. These world leaders, after they were done with their tenures in their positions, were going to come out. So, what do you do? You preempt it. You flood all of Google with, look at how well Fauci did. Actually, look at this thing that Trump did. Don't look at the Fauci stuff, though. Fauci did a great job. That's what these emails prove. But here's some information if you need to just focus on how bad Fauci is and how this is all actually his fault and how none of us were lying to you. It was really only him. Not us. Totally wasn't us. Because I just showed you, right? Look at Google. Google Fauci and Wuhan lab. Google Fauci, Wuhan lab, CBS interview. Google the commissioner. The former commissioner, none of the, all it is is kissing Fauci's ass over the FOIA emails that BuzzFeed requested and got quickly, clearly, right at top to overshadow this interview where they talk about the fact that the Wuhan lab theory was the, was the working theory for the whole world. And Fauci himself believed the strain was unnatural and that scientists, according to the FDA commissioner, believed that the strain was man-made. So y'all just happened to read, y'all happened to do the FOIA request. Yeah, we happened to just hang this motherfucker Fauci out to dry. Somebody had to go. Y'all know y'all seen that Kevin Hart skit. <laughs> He's talking about his daughter pushing the girl off the bed because there wasn't enough room on the bed. So they had to make an executive decision. Somebody had to go. So, yeah, do they want you to focus on Fauci? Absolutely. Of course. Should there be a focus on Fauci? Absolutely. Of course. This man should be on trial for criminal negligence. Policies were crafted based on on the every single thing this man said lives were affected in one way or another based off of this man's words he knew this virus was unnatural he knew that we were funding bio weapon research in wuhan I actually just watched a video from my good friend Terry about how he, he was just kind of like, we're just preparing to battle nature just in case it tries to kill us with disease. That's the only reason we're doing it. That's the reason we're funding this. So he admits to the funding of the bio weapons is what I'm saying. He, he knew about the NIH funding and pretended that he didn't and then pretended Trump was an idiot and everybody was racist if you suggested it. Fauci should go to jail. And everybody involved, anyone who died, I don't give a damn if it was, if it was from COVID directly. I don't even care if it was because you went homeless you starved you obviously not you but somebody you love or knew committed suicide because their entire world was shut down suddenly not because of the information that we didn't have but because we had all the information in the world and people pretended we didn't because of people like fauci they should all be charged for manslaughter. Every single life should be put on them. He is a sacrificial lamb. But the story, 
the real story is the fact that that FDA commissioner literally just told us the United States and China, because China's loose laws and the fact that the U.S. and capitalism always takes advantage of them, were likely responsible for a global pandemic that destroyed an economy and ended lives. That shit crazy, bro. That is crazy. And it's crazy that we even have to, like, to, we have to, I feel like these aren't complex conclusions to reach. <laughs> like the fact that we have to like tell, hey man, hope I don't get banned for saying these words from an FDA commissioner who's quoting Fauci directly. Oh, friendly, brilliant, love you too. Appreciate the love. 